Hello, my name is Ian Mortimer and I'm a British historian with a penchant for showing people the past as if they really could go there. In this, the fourth and most recent to my time traveller's guides, I take you to Regency Britain, the years 1789 to 1830, the age of Jane Austen and Lord Byron, Lord Nelson, the Duke of Wellington and of course the Prince Regent. I show you where to stay and uh, where not to stay and I tell you what to eat and drink and what not to eat and drink and which illnesses might kill you and uh, which doctors might kill you and in this particular age with all the cracks around they may do just that. I tell you about uh, taking snuff and um, gambling at a gentleman's club and how to fight a duel. We cover the, the, the wit of Richard Brinsley Sheridan and the overindulgence of the Prince of Wales um, and, and things of that nature. It makes everything sound wonderful and splendid. You know, everything a, a book about the Regency really should be. But that word, Regency, has a few problems attached to it because it makes everything sound rich and wonderful and delightful and elegant and extravagant. Imagine, though, being one of the 70% of the population who was working class in this period, in the Industrial Revolution. What do you think it was like for the boys and girls working in a mine or in a factory for 14 hours a day with all the heat and dust? It was miserable. Children as young as three were employed in the mines to fight the rats off their father's food. So I talk also in a cautionary way, about the experience of being poor in the Regency period. In Manchester, for example, life expectancy at birth was 19. If you're working class in Liverpool, life expectancy at birth was 16. Or if you're really, really unlucky and you're in Preston or Ashton under Line, life expectancy at birth in the unsewered streets was 14 or less. So this is a guide to visiting Britain and staying with uh, Prince Regent at the top of society in the Carlton House where the furniture is all covered in gold leaf or at the very bottom of society staying overnight in a cellar in Liverpool where your mattress has to be raised up on bricks to get it out of the water. Along the way we have middle class houses and expanding towns and uh, things like the, the Duke of Devonshire's tame elephant in his garden which he takes people for rides on or the Indian restaurant that you can eat at in London in 1810. So let me entreat you in the words of Johann Peter Salomon, the virtuoso violinist, who decided he would like Haydn to come to London in the 1790s. He went to Vienna, knocked on Haydn's door, and when it opened he said, Hello, my name is Salomon from London, and I have come to fetch you. Well, in my case, hello, I'm Dr Ian Mortimer, and I have come to fetch you. To Regency Britain. You might not want to come back. You might not be able to.